gets that headgear into rally cap position. It's Super Mega Baseball and Peninsula Transporter coming to Bulldozer Power Town to try and win a game. Uh, Peninsula Transport 5-5 five five so far this season. Bulldozer Power 2 wins, uh, both of which came at the hands of not me, which is uh, that's great, isn't it? Um, anyway, we're not disheartened. Sooner or later, we're going to win a game, and it might just be this one. Uh, pitching for us today is Vivian Crumble, and uh, she's going to she's going to start. She moves to go on. Here's uh, is Kira Refund, whose batting average isn't all that, and she fouls off the first pitch of the game. I, I wonder if that's a if that's a portent of some fashion. Doubtful. You never know. That's that's not good. Drift, 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 drift. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that one's gone foul, and uh, well, that's, uh, that's a 2 and 0 count there, yeah, 0 and 2, I don't know which way you'd do it, but uh, I'm doing it that way, up, no, I uh, didn't fall for that, alright, okay, let's, uh, let's try some of this action, something like that, no, you fouled that one off, okay, alright, let's see if you're, see if you're foolish enough to swing a change up, not so much foolish, uh, but Cindy will feel that, and that's out number one. Caps could just go back in at first base. Dramatic changes in the batting order, but you're just going to have to wait to see that. Uh, here's Poncho Ramirez, who's, uh, who's, who's packing in three home runs so far this year, which is nice for him. Isn't that nice? That's the, that's the sort of thing you kind of go, oh, I feel, feel good about myself having three home runs. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd feel, I'd feel good about myself too under those circumstances. Let's see if he's stupid enough to, uh, to swing at a... Swing it a change up. No, yeah, he is. And he's he's done well there. And neither of my fielders could decide whose responsibility it is to field it either. Zoltan gets there eventually. Uh, but not before giving up a double. One out. Runner on second. Kujorski next up to bat batting 194 so far this year. Okay, back to the back to the fastball. And uh, yeah, that's not that's not exactly accurate, is it? Try again, but see if you can't be on target. There you go. That's the that's the tip. I do like throwing them, you know, delicately inside in this fashion. Uh, that's the thing that makes me happy. That's that's it. That's perfect. It's exactly where I wanted it. All right. Yeah. Didn't work though. You can't can't keep trying them on a change up. No, you can't. It's true. Okay. Well, what do you want then? Uh, I guess top top of the box. That's not good. Sorry, right. he couldn't hit that either. Yeah, what a waste of space. There you go. Dramatically inside. See how you like them apples. He didn't buy that one. Popped up. Disco. No darts. Get off my fields. All right, two away, and Shep Rotten is next up to bat. Uh, a slightly better batting average for Shep Rotten. I, I, I think you'll be pleased to hear. You are, well, you would be if you were a Shep Rotten fan, but uh, I don't know if such a thing exists. Uh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, swing and a miss. Uh, right, okay. And that one's going to go as far as Cindy, who will wrap up the inning, but not before. It took, it took, it took 19 balls to get us that far. Oh, well, we didn't have a run. I mean, come on. Glass half full, all that kind of business. Anyway, here comes Cindy Vapid. Uh, she is in a great mood with four home runs this season, batting just over 300. And uh, she is not going to swing at this first one. There you go. That's the rule. We're not swinging at first pitches again. And that put us in very good stead. Early, oh dear. Uh, early in our uh, our baseball career. And uh, and we're going back to it. Alright, okay. Just pop that one up. That one's stash is history. Here's Jemima Hertz. Bang 279. Which is, you know, solid-ish. Well, yeah, solid-ish. Yeah. That, no, you see, pop that one up as well. No, 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 no. Wait a little bit longer. Uh, next up, Steve Mori, who has advanced in the batting order. I thought, you know, a chap who, uh, who's batting 500 should uh, should try and get a few more at-bats. Uh, so here he is, getting another at-bat. Um, but he's going to he's gonna wait this one out, I think. He's going to wait this one out. Yeah. Come on, Steve. Do something dramatic. That'll do. And there's Steve Mori continuing his rampage on his batting average this season. Rampage. So it is. And his Ulysses failing. Uh, two home runs. He's, he, he started to bounce back last time we saw him in action uh, from a slump at the beginning of the season. But uh, we're not there yet. Big Steve not running anywhere. No, no, no. no he's, he's not big anymore. He's still big. He, he's got a big heart. 
Yeah, I know, he's on medication for that. Boom, shakalaka. No, no shakalaka. Okay, all right, well, there we are. That's that then. And at the end of one, it's a, it's a tie game uh, for both hits and, uh, and runs. Yeah, what well, more could you ask for? A uh, more exciting game. Here's Hieronymus Dude, who's batting 750, which to me says he's had four at-bats and hit off three of them. Uh, any more than that would be unlikely, in my humble opinion. There you go, swing at this. He has done. Oh, crikey, he's put it into the flipping tough middle split section again. And Zoltan with the throw. Don't mess this up, thank you. Hey. Okay, maybe, maybe we retire the change-up. Maybe the change-up is just not... It's, it's not our it's not our cup of tea for uh, for Viv Crumble. Um, we certainly know that uh, Jeff, the conservative conservative, makes hay with the uh, what not uh, change up change up. He makes hay with that. Right. Okay. Two strikes. Where are we throwing? If we field this inside, throw the third. You sure? Yeah, we'll throw the first if I don't think I've got time to make the, the pick off a third. And it's a strikeout. All right. Okay. We don't have to. Th I'd say just the strategizing. It, it put them off their game. Here's Mindy Starlin. Uh, Mandy. Mandy Starlin. Beg your pardon. Uh, Mindy. Unrelated. That's just, that's just someone else. Strike one. Viv Crumble there. First strike out of the afternoon. That's nice to see. Burning mistakes. No. 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 Burning mistakes as Mojo's off at the moment. For those uh, who, who like to know how Mojo's getting on. You're anticipating a two-strike fastball. Seems unlikely. Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't seem like something that I've done very often. Well, okay. All right. Maybe I'm going around the rotation of pitches in a little too obvious a fashion. All right, call this again then. Uh, there. Ooh, yeah. No, you anticipated that as well. Is she magic? Just going like, oh, yeah, I knew you were going to call that. Was well, that why you hit it foul? Huh? Is it? All right, okay, we've got to do something, something better. Try, uh-oh, that's not exactly where I wanted it. I wanted that one just outside the line. Uh, and all of this faffing around, not hitting the ball accurately, is, uh, there you go. Oh, really? Okay. Steve goes, what? Eh, hey, what? Uh, she's trying to run to first anyway. Uh, that's, seems foolish. But there you go, uh, that's out number two. Runner on second, and we're facing off against Jermaine, Jermaine Arc Discharge. And uh, we'll start with that one. I thought we weren't going to do change-ups anymore. Well, look, this will a third time's a charm, right? Uh, if they if they, you know, ding it up into that split position between right field and mid center field, then then we'll know that pitch is not one for us. I think we've probably decided that already, though, haven't we? Mephisto throws home. Yep. Come on, as long as we don't uh, as long as we don't give up a run, everything is still to play for. Here's unlucky Jackson, the pitcher. Uh, if you go for a sacrifice, I'm going to have you, and your run won't count. Just letting you know that, so there's no sense in you bunting because it isn't going to work. That's gone to Bernie Mistakes, who will take the easy outs. Out three, and no score. All right, good, good strategy. Up next is Zoltan. Zoltan again moving up in the batting order. Uh, he hasn't uh, hasn't dominated this season. I mean, he's never really dominated. His batting average has never been amazing. Uh, but he has had a tendency to hit it really hard from time to time. Uh, so that's what, we're, that's what we're aiming for here. No, no, stop. Stop swinging at the high stuff, man. What the heck is wrong with you? You're coming away. It looks about viable. Yeah, but then you swing at the high stuff and you get caught. It just, that's not... His caps come Disco, who has been a little surprising... In, uh, in being a, uh, a reliable hitter. Uh, maybe not with not with power, but uh, but gets on base regularly enough, and that's a that's a good thing to see. What's the count? Uh, turn one. Turn one is the count. Thereby answering your question from the first inning. Yep. And uh, Capscom gets a walk. Yeah, look. Yes, you may look dismayed there, pitching lady, uh, whose name eludes me at the moment, because I didn't look at it. It's, uh, who is pitching? Oh, it's Unlucky Jackson. Right, here's Lim Nefisto. Uh, who, as, as we talked about last time around, it has, uh, has not yet really established a personality for herself when it comes to batting. Uh, pretty much all the batters in the team. You kind of go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We know what to expect from them. Um, but as yet, Mephisto hasn't done that. And this is the one that matters. 
That'll do nicely. A base hit. That doesn't count. That's, uh, well, it counts, obviously, but it doesn't build a reputation at all. No. His Bernadette mistakes. Played pretty well for us last time around. So, well, last time I was at the helm, but evidently had a pretty poor week uh, when uh, when my erstwhile AI companion was, was taking helm of the team. Uh, I mean, we won the game, so that's a good thing. Uh, but evidently, Bernie did not have a stellar outing that day. But anyway, you know, hope springs eternal. I would have been quite nice if it had gone better, but it didn't. Two and two counts. Ball three. All right, come on, Bernie. Come on, Bernie. Base hit, please. Nope. Okay, all right. Bernadette mistakes. Hanging on in there. Yes! Oh, for a moment, I thought that was a strikeout. Oh, but it wasn't. Here's Viv Crumble. Viv, here's the plan. Stand there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to gamble with bases loaded on, uh, on Cindy being able to uh being able to get a base hit okay all right don't don't even risk it don't even risk it no, no you don't need to look disappointed fifth that was a plan that was intentional all right cindy she's in about as good a mood as it's possible to be here's cindy vapid just a base hit please that would have been nice nah, it's too high that would have been popped up right, base is loaded well, there's a power that's the moment Hey, Macarena. Okay, that's the stuff. And BDP open the scoring. Bases are still loaded. Jemima Hurts now with an opportunity to do something. And is she going to? All right, she likes the outside pitches. Where's this first one going? Straight down the middle. Okay, well, we could have hit that. That's the ticket. And there goes another one. The motor is running. What would be nice now is a grand slam because that would absolutely decimate the pitcher. Here's Steve. Steve's about to get out. Uh, don't worry about it. It's okay. I've seen it coming. Right. Okay. Yeah. You know, if we get up, if we get another couple of runs here, we can uh, we can win this game right now. Ball two. Ball three. Steve not rattled, not biting. That's a good one. Steve knocking one in. And uh, Bulldozer Power now three. Bases still fully loaded. Ulysses' failure is the next up with the opportunity to cause disaster for either team. Come on there, failure. Come on, come on. Come on, put something in your hero index. Let's have it. Come on. Uh, he's feeling it. The pressure is on. And that'll do it. That's not it. Okay, but unconventionally an opportunity not wasted as bulldozer power take a three to nothing lead at the end of the second inning and uh, viv crumble now needs to just not cock it up that's that's all uh, yep nothing more than that uh a low a low number of mistakes would be fabulous uh, i want to get to at least inning five maybe seven um what about six uh, stuff six don't like six uh, before we bring in Jeff the Conservative Conservative to try and do his magic. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's got a top hat and is inside that top hat and there are two rabbits. Uh, one of them's a fake rabbit, I understand. No, 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 wait. Just... Hey! And Viv chucks in another strikeout. Shouldn't have because that was some woeful pitching, but uh, it happened anyway. Here's Poncho Ramirez. Uh, he'll be feeling chancy, given that he got a double off the first at bat. But uh, let's see how he gets on this time around. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. My pitching accuracy is duff as anything. All right. Okay. What are they going to miss? Oh, sinky curve. That just. I mean, if if I could land it there, that'd be good. Now you see, he missed. And finally, we'll have that one. Quick throw to second to uh, stop the excess base hitting action there and it's one out and a runner on first Kujorski who made a meal of getting out last time at bat uh, let's see if they can't be a little bit more efficient about it this time uh, just something like that there you go that one's gone wrong good 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 all right yeah keep it flipping, not even close gov but it swung at it anyway so that's that's actionable uh right sink it lay perfect Ooh. taste it 
Uh, and that's just another strike out. Hey, yay. Oh, come on. Here's Shep Rotten. And uh, we're two outs and a runner on first. And there you go. Easy now. No, no, I don't know how. I mean, you've got to throw that before the ball's even reached you to catch someone trying to steal second, I reckon. Unless they're a very, very slow runner. Um, that, they stole second, for those of you listening on the wireless. Uh, failure's not going to get to that. They're going for home. Not to be, and they've got the run. Well, obviously that dude was the fast guy. Uh, evidently, here's Hieronymus Dude, who uh, who also batted a double last time around off uh, off a dubious changeup. Zoltan's in the market. What a catch! And that's the end of that. No, put it away, son. It's not happening. No, no, put it back. No, do your zip up. And uh, bulldozer power take command again, and it's Zoltan to uh, to try and just you know. Loosen up a little bit. I mean, based on his hip action there, you reckon he's fairly loose already. He needs to loosen up a bit more. And that's 50 pitches for unlucky Jackson, who, uh, living up to a name so far, is a bit tense. Well, that'll, that'll happen. And that's three balls in a row. Zoltan's not in a rush. No. Zoltan goes, say go. There's my bat. Pick it up for us. And, uh, and he advances to first. His caps come disco. Walked first time around. I don't think they're going to stick with Jackson much longer. I wouldn't. No. Zoltan's not running. Look at the size of him. He's too big for that. Too big for that, he is. Uh, strike one. Caps can disco. Not in a rush. Unhurried. That was not a strike. You are having a laugh. Anyway, disco there. Spanking it out to centre field. Uh, they're throwing to third in the thinking that Zoltan's going to put in any more effort than is strictly required. He's not. Uh, is Lynn Mephisto. Did us proud last time around with a single. What's she going to do here? Well, I don't know. We've got no outs. Runners on first and second. Could have run there. But that's that's really not the game that I play. Yeah. I've been trying some stealing this season. I think you've seen it. Uh, didn't go well. So I'm probably going to put a fork in that for the time being. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll try some stealing again in the future. It's, it's nice. Go on! Oh! Had a feeling it would have taken her head off there, but it didn't. That's the stuff you like to see. But it wasn't, uh, no, that wasn't going to happen. I thought that was going to brain her well and proper, but it didn't. Here's Bernie Mistakes and the bases are loaded. Bernie got a walk last time. Oh, and what, what do you know? They brought in a pitcher who's on fire at the moment. It's Tandy Appleseeds. who's coming in to have a go. All right, Bernie. Yes. Trying to flip it out. Are you going to throw any that aren't straight down the middle? I was about to tell Bernie not to bother swinging because uh, we didn't want a double out. But she's uh, not only got herself a base hit, but that's another run. Bases are loaded. Is Viv Crumble? <laughs> Viv, I've got some really bad news for you. Um, yeah, just stand. Do this. Ooh, look where my bat is. Ah, ah. You know what we're not doing? Tandy, if that is your name. We're not swinging. Nope. Nope, not swinging. Here's Cindy Vapid. And she made uh, she made good benefit of uh, of the opportunity last time around. Of course, a double play here, and the side is out. So we try and avoid that. Oh, you might go like, oh, why are you so worried about double plays? Because I do a lot of them. All right, I do a disproportionate number of double plays, giving up my share of the slice of the pie on a regular basis. Uh, ball three, strike one. Cindy is in no rush, and there's a low centre field bouncer from Cindy which is, I think, her patented play. And she gets on base, and that's another run. Here's Jemima Hurts, the shortstop, who loves the outside pitch. Can't get enough of it. The more outside pitch you can chuck her, the more she's thrilled about it. But is Appleseed going to keep it on the inside to try and maintain a small amount of dignity? And not happening. No. If you'd held everyone on base, we could have made a run there. In fact third stayed put we could have made a run there we had time oh well two outs now he's uh, big steve mori less big these days uh, he's looking at the pies clause in his contract going i want some of them pies two outs swing away steve obviously when the pitch is right that was not the right pitch steve wrong steve wrong pitch mate 
Wrong pitch. Well, you can't you can't hold it against him too much. He's been really good lately. So uh, anyway, the under three five to Bordeaux's power one to Peninsula Transport. The lead extended yet further. Here's Jackson Clown Car, the left fielder, and uh, who's yeah, yeah, no, no. Viv is still in the command bunker. Right. Strike one, straight down the middle. But uh, the boy Clown Car was not interested. It was not entertaining that as a prospect. He entertained the second pitch and it went foul. The third pitch was well wide, but he entertained that as well. Just because he likes entertaining. He's a natural entertainer. He's got Ferrero Roche and a standing order. Zoltan throws the seconds, but that'll be a base hit. Right. Do we reckon some, we've got some zip coming off the, uh, the arm of Viv? Oh, only ever so slightly. Not so much as you go, oh, she's horrible now. No, 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 no. She's only she's only slightly rubbish now. I mean, she was moderately rubbish to begin. No, you weren't, Viv. You were lovely. You were super. You've always been You've always been my number one today. There we go. That's uh, got her mojo back up again. And now we've got runners first and second. Is Jermaine Arc discharge. Viv, this can't be down to your pitching. Your pitching is as dubious as it has been all game, so I don't think that's it. I think that maybe uh, maybe they're they're feeling it. Maybe they've got their then you know gumption restored. Ball three, come off it. That was fine. All right, three balls in a row. There you go. Bernie jumps for it, but it's not doing, and Mephisto can't get there in time because she couldn't be bothered, and that's going to give up her run. Uh, they're going for two. Ah, oh, throw it. Nope. You've got two runs. Oh, flaming heck. All right, okay. That's not good, is it? No, it's not. No, that's that's the antithesis of good. He's going to try bunting this. Easy out. Take the... All right, okay. And where shall he throw this? Well, he's, he's keen. Look at his batting ability. It's nothing. Exactly. So throw this one in a place that he can't actually get at it if he bunts. That's down. Hmm. Okay, well, it, it, it didn't look like he'd, he'd put... There you go, that'll do it. Three. Hey, you dope. Right, good. Thereby eliminating anything possible, positive that could have come out of bunting. Uh, we, uh, we struck him out by just throwing complete rubbish uh, over the plate. And that did the job just fine. Burning mistakes... We'll get the easy out. That's two away. Poncho Ramirez next. He's having a good game. I am not going to put him on base. I'm going to get him out of the plate once in a while. Maybe this is the while where once I get him out of the plate. Come on. Strike two. Nice, 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 nice. We are going to chance the change up. We haven't seen it for a while. Somehow he hit that and I've no idea how because it was going completely wrong. Yeah, he's fouled that one off as well. Keep it, keep it high, right? And then maybe, maybe he'll pop it up like that. All right, Steve's back there. He's looking for it. Steve Murray with the catch, out number three. Well, gave up two more runs, which is bad, unless we keep scoring. If we keep scoring, it is tolerable. It's not good. I don't think we're ever going to see it as good, but it is tolerable. Here's Ulysses' failure, and you have to say that he's overdue doing something worthwhile. Overdue. Yeah. Right, strike two. Tandy Appleseed. Failure fouls that one off. I think that was going a bit low anyway. That one was definitely a ball. That one's too high. Failure. He's not being suckered into any of this rubbish. He had to swing at that. He got connection, but he's gone. That one was going to be going to be fair, but uh, there it is. Here's Zoltan. Zoltan, speaking of big men who are not doing very much. Uh, strike one. Yeah. Strike two. Oh, no, not again. All right. Zoltan puts that one foul. Almost hits the umpire in the process. Good times. That one's gone high. This is good. We're all done. I mean, all these pitches are taking the arm out of Appleseed. We don't want him around towards the end of the game. Zoltan's put some steam on that one. He hasn't put enough steam on it. No. No, he, he needs to put some more distilled water into his back beforehand to, uh, to allow it to steam fervently. Uh, here's Capsicum Disco. And we've got two outs. Oh, what a shame. Oh, that was the one. Disco, come on, swing your bat faster. 
That one was not the one. All right, two strikes, one ball. <laughs> Dream on, son. And Disco didn't didn't really do anything to that one. Just tickled it, and it's uh, it dribbled out to the shortstop, and that's out. Well, Peninsula Transport have clawed back two runs. It's now five to three in favour of Bulldozer Power. Yeah, I know. I can do without this edge of seat business. I want one where we just utterly, 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 utterly dominate. That's four utterlies. I mean, that's, that's about as utterly as you get. It's uh, it's Coco Jorski who's having a stinker today. Um, that's good. Yeah, that's nice. Good pitch. But hit anyway. What about here? A uh, bad pitch. <laughs> Viv gives him a look and a little cheeky smile there, and that's what we like to see. Shep Rotten, now. All uh, right, okay. What have we got so far from you? Oh, he's one or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you feeling? Are you, Viv's feeling okay. She does look a little bit like Cindy Vapid, but she doesn't look anything like Cindy Vapid, so uh, you can stop saying that. Uh, all right, there you go. Oh, nice. Strike one. Okay. Shep Rotten, he's one of two. I said that already, didn't I? Well, I know, but sometimes, you know, the commentary is going to get a bit repetitive because, I mean, it's baseball. There's only a finite number of things that can happen. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes it rains. I mean, you know, that's that's basically all there is to it. That one's gone up and skyward. Bernie Mistakes is in the chase. So are every other fielder in that hemisphere of the field, and it's a catch. But I could have gone badly wrong with me yelling at three individual players who should be doing better, but it doesn't matter now because we're moving on, and it's Hieronymus Dude who's up next. Right. Put this one away, Viv. I want one more inning out of you. Bless you. Um, and that's a very nice, very nice pitch. Solid. Three up, three down. And uh, and BDP bounce back with a good piece of defence. Lynn Mephisto next up to bat. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. I've just seen it. I've just seen it. What have we just seen? Well, Crumble's up third, right? And she's about ready to be relieved at pitcher. And therefore, surely you bring in the hammock. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a decision to make. Yeah, what are you swinging at that for? Uh, strike two. Ball one. Lynn Mephisto. It's been okay. Low one. That's all right. It's okay if you foul it off. Better one. But uh, but intercepted by the shortstop, and that'll be out number one. Okay. Bernie Mistakes next. You know what? I think I'm going to let Vivian just swing away. Oh, what a first pitch swing. <laughs> it's because you decided you're going to let your pitcher swing, isn't it? Yep. It might cheer her up. She's got a batting average of zero so far this season. Strike one. Okay. Come on, Viv. Booyah! Yeah, well, booyah indeed. And uh, that's out. Good. Well, you know, at least we didn't prolong the agony. And uh, inning number five, like inning number one, scoreless as uh, as we head into the bottom half of the game. I guess you could call it. Well, that's what I'm calling it. Is Jacko Clown Car. Uh, Viv, I want you to get through this inning, please. All right? I'll allow you to give up one run, but don't. Okay? Just saying. Just saying. Don't give up any runs. Uh, that's it. You keep, if you keep your pitches high, then I think we've got a better chance of getting a fly ball catch job there. But you've also got the, the low Cindy Vapid bouncer to concern yourself with. And that's a base hit. Uh, it's Starlin. Uh, she's back. She looks terse. And uh, that hair colour really works for her. It has to be said, it's a good haircut. And Steve Laurie with the throw second. Safe. That is a shocker. That almost never happens. Uh, here's, the, uh, here's the second pitch of something. That's a ball. Cindy, don't waste your arm on daft pitches, please. Uh, Hurts. Flies majestically over the top of that. And the run for home isn't attempted. Thought it might be. I mean, it was a terrible piece of fielding. The second baseman. Terrible fielding. Here's Jermaine Art discharged two of two today. A double, a single, two runs batted in. And we've got runners on second and third with no outs. Viv Crumble. Dig deep. Break. Dig deep. I don't want to switch you in the sixth. Ball okay. For reasons concerning magic. All right. All right. What have we got? Two strikes. It's surely got to, it's got to work at some point. Try that. There it is! 
All right, that's turn the corner. Vitt gets another strikeout from the changer. Here's Tandy Apple, so they're taking him out. And Haptic Mojo, the uh, backup first baseman, is coming in to, uh, to pinch hit while they're in scoring position. That's what you should do when your pitcher's there and you've got someone in scoring position. But I wasn't in that position, and therefore it doesn't count. Jemima Hooks with a throw to first. Double play was there. It was there. It was in the offing. It's okay. We took the easy out. It's okay. We took the easy out. Here's Kira Refund, the catcher. And uh, they've got a runner on second. Two outs. Refund has uh, has been bad so far today, but that's tolerable. Yeah. Mephisto with a throw to home. It's a bad throw, though. And that's the score. Tight. Steve couldn't field it. It was such a bad throw. Poncho flaming flipping Ramirez now. Come on, Viv. Put him away. And uh, I can feel already the social media people's all going should have, should have pulled Viv Crumble in the sixth but uh, that will be adequately uh, adequately you know refuted by those saying you can't you can't change your picture in the sixth that's just wrong there's no there's no justifiable reason for a sixth inning pitching change just isn't no, no you just don't do it okay ball three so that's the full count Viv this one for all the marbles well, it's not going to be all the marbles, but it is going to be out. Whew, close, though. Um, but there you go. Haptic Mojo is being replaced by Hank Vengeance, that pitcher. And with two runs batted in, we go into the bottom of the sixth, and the scores are tied. Yeah, but it's Argo. Yeah, it might be Argo, but we've, we've watched our lead gradually disappear. Uh, Cindy Vapid up to face Hank Vengeance's pitching circus flipping Nora three balls in a row there um, and I've just noticed he is not accurate as Cindy strolls out to first base all right then we may exercise yet further patience here's Jemima Hurts the shortstop all right Jemima yeah. he is not accurate Cindy's making a move and she's in yes fist pump Right, ball two. Yeah. Okay, here comes ball three. No, it's a strike. Oh my goodness. That was we've already had ball three. Now Cindy's not going any further. She doesn't want to, she's not into it. Uh we're still second because that's the easiest thing in the world. Whoa! That one was a bit wild. And uh, and Vengeance adds another another base runner there. Here's Steve Mori. Two singles and a run battered in for him so far today. That's uh, that's good. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with Steve Murray. I honestly don't. I don't know why he's good this season, but he is. Whoa! Take the hit next time, Steve. Just saying. Hey! Uh, two balls in a row there where Steve narrowly avoids being dinged by the ball. Uh, three balls, one strike, and we'll, we'll walk that one as well. Here comes Ulysses' failure. He's 0 for 3 today. I wonder if he can make a dog's dinner of bases loaded and no one's actually had to swing a bat yet. Well, well, we'll see, won't we? That was a ball. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, if you've got a pitcher with no accuracy, consider, consider, I probably could have stolen home, you're not wrong. But I'm not, that's the kind of thing that sort of takes me by surprise a little bit. Um, so I didn't. Strike two, ball two. We might actually have to swing here. And swing we do. Failure gets his first hit of the game and it's a base hit. One run. Bases are still loaded. How long are they going to stick with this clown? Um, he's tense now. Yeah, I should imagine so. And his, his accuracy entirely dropped off the chart. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is, this is terrific. Zoltan! No. The Wonder Horse does not wander. But we're, we're making the run for home, and we're going to get it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Well, that's me doing something right for a change. Here's Capscom Disco. Runners now first and second. One out. Okay. All right. Hey! A pitch out? Why? Capscom Disco's not all that. I don't know. There's some strategy going on here. And Disco with a nice hit. That will load the bases back up again. Let's go BDP. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a game of two pitches. Here's Lynn Mephisto. Come on, Lino. Walk it or slap it. Either will do. Either will do. Yep. Uh, there we go. That was one not quite on target. 
that one there, it was it's not, not quite on target. That one was not quite on target either. Three balls in a row. Yeah. How has this guy got any morale whatsoever? How does he just not turn up and go, I hate my life? Uh, as he as he walks a run in. <laughs> I mean, look, after so many games losing, I, I will take uh, an opposing pitcher just handing it to us. That's fine. Uh, it's burning mistakes in anything could happen sixth inning. Strike one, ball one. All right, okay. Yeah. No, that one's, that one's dirty. Yeah. It's got dirty. Ball two. Strike two. Yeah. Okay. Don't, yeah, no, yeah. I should have expected that one to be high. Well, I expect nothing. Oh, and Bernie mistakes there with what was actually a clean hit uh, on a clean pitch. I mean, she didn't really put much on it, but it, it all counts. Here's Viv Crumble. Viv, you have served your country well. Now sit down. Let's bring on the hammock. All right. So Veronica Hammock. Waste no time at all. She likes the look of that one. She's done awful things to it, though. Uh, didn't really have the bat speed for that one to leave the park, either, had, it, had that been legit. She is 27 feet tall with tiny little feet. Oh, flipping takes evasive action on that one. Crikey. Uh, ball two, strike one. And... Uh, Veronica Hammock waiting for something. Take your base. Okay, strolls it. And Viv's going, oh great, oh great. So you're telling me if that if I'd stayed in, I would have got walked. Yeah. Oh, they've made a pitching change. That's an interesting move on their part. I would have stuck with Vengeance a little bit longer. I think he was about to come good. Anywho, here's uh, Linda Doesn't Care uh, coming in as a reliever. She's slightly tired already. Uh, obviously having, having relieved recently. Her accuracy isn't great, but it's not Henk Vengeance. And that's another that's another hit there. As, uh, as Ball does, the power starts to open the tap a little bit. We've got one out here in the sixth inning. And a lot of runs. Uh, here's Jemima Hertz. The wheels are going to come off this train anytime soon. But in the meantime, we're looking at it. We're looking at that train and going, look, it's got its wheels. Ball one, strike one. Linda doesn't care. Pitching to Jemima Hurts. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we seem to have time. Yeah, there we go. Yep, super. Yeah, if you're just going to throw wildly there, uh, Linda, <laughs> she doesn't care, um, then, uh, then, then we'll take... <laughs> I'm changing the difficulty settings. Honest, this is... This is... This is just the game, and that's one of the things that could happen in, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes it rains, sometimes the pitcher needs to get a spec savers. No, no, Steve, you naughty. Oh, for crying out loud, well, Steve there. Uh, I had intended to, to, to not swing at that, but there you go. Uh, good old dependable Steve Murray swings at an obvious, uh, an obvious ball and gets out. I think maybe... Uh, all of the batters have been out there too long and the heat's getting to them. Uh, failure will round things off for us. Good old dependable gets everyone out. Ulysses failure. And uh, that's that then. Here's Jeff Conservative coming in to replace Veronica Hammock. And a seven run inning uh, takes the scores. 12 bulldozer power, five to Peninsula Transport. And here comes Cuckoo over three Jorski to face the Conservative. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Well, clearly it doesn't. Yeah, no, I guess on base, look. Flipping, what happened to Jeff Conservative? He used to be so reliable. He used to use no pitches to get everyone out. He used to just turn up and they'd go, oh, I quit. Yeah, not anymore. No. No, he's Jeff disappointing these days. Well, he's not disappointing. He does the job. Well, okay, he's Jeff hardly what you'd call dominant these days. Come on, Steve, pay attention. Um... But hey, now if Steve had climbed up onto the safety fence there, we could have had that, but he didn't, so he didn't. Ball one, strike two, uh, here in the, wherever we are, seventh inning, seventh inning, and uh, no, that was, that was the first conservative change up that we've seen, it didn't work. Would have been nice if it did, but it didn't. Cindy, gets it, could have had the double play there, Sins. It's no sense throwing it back second now, that's not going to help. Yeah, I'd, I'll be honest with you, I'd forgotten I'd got a runner. Oh, uh, okay, all right, fine. Maybe pay a little bit more attention to the game. Do you think it would help? Yes, yes, I do think it would help. 
Strike one. Runner on second. Thank you. That's for my benefit, you know. I don't, I don't call this out to do some, you know, play-by-play -play type business. No, no, no. It's so that I can remember what the heck's going on. Where are you going to put this one? Just about, about there. He's going to foul it off. No. Throw at Steve's head. And, well, yeah. Just put him away. Come on. Nope. All right. Okay. Let's let's get this done. Yep. That's the ticket. No, it's not. Uh, is this the ticket? Nope. Okay. Maybe try this one. This one looks ticket shaped. Hey. Right. Okay. Good. Go away. <laughs> I said something rude then. Uh, but I didn't. I'll save that for later when someone thoroughly annoys me. Or maybe I won't. No. Bernie. Thank you. All right, good. Put them away. No runs. Good, 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 good. We've only got a weather. Two more at bats from that team, and then we can we can call it a victory. But I think it's too soon to say that yet. Too late. I've said it. Oh, okay. Right. Here's Zoltan. Zoltan. Linda doesn't care. Her velocity has gone. Has completely dropped off, and her accuracy is starting to disappear as well. This is a good sign. Yeah. There's ball three. Zoltan. There's uh, another Zoltan walk. Well, it's more of a more of a gamble than a walk. It's gamble. I think I've explained that before, but hey. His caps come disc. Ah, oh, and they're done with Linda Doesn't Care. They're bringing in Tiger Chain Gang, who I would say they probably should have brought in beforehand. Uh, meanwhile, Hieronymus Dude is leaving. Weird. Why would you do that? Hieronymus Dude's form is top banana, whereas Mighty Buffont, who they're bringing on in his place, he's... His confidence is awful. Interesting. No, I don't understand. How's this guy's accuracy? Really good. Oh, okay. All right. Best, be, best we start swinging again then. Uh, right. Okay. That's the ticket. All right. Runners now first and second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just demonstrating. I do know how to hit occasionally. Uh, here's Lim Mephisto. Two or three today and a walk. I think everybody's at least one walk. I should go for the first one. Oh, that'll be a double play there, won't it? Yeah, it will. But we've got a runner in scoring position. That doesn't count. Here's Bernadette Mistakes. Uh, who's, uh, who's been solid for the last the last couple of games. She came into this one lacking in confidence. But she's got that back in again. She's, uh, she's reined in uh, the wobbles in certainty that she may or may not have had. And, uh, and is up for this. Uh, a base hit will do the job. But that's not going to do it. No. And out number three, and nothing doing from that one. That's a shame we go like the double play there. That's uh, that's where the damage is done. Is Mandy Starling uh, coming in to face off against Jeff? Conservative. We don't call him the conservative anymore because he's not. No, he can have that title back. It's waiting for you, Jeff. As soon as you start being conservative again, you can be Jeff the conservative, conservative. But at the moment, you're. Jeff, the, yeah, he's all right as a reliever, I suppose. Oh, what a will I just come on, stop mucking me about it. Here's Jermaine Arc Discharge, one of the highlights of the Peninsula Transport Team. Two of three, double single, couple of runs batted in. You know, he's everything a growing boy needs. And uh, uh, your mother would like him. Oh, that was nice. Um, Jeff with a nice pitch. I, a lot of Jeff's pitches are quite nice, but that one was nice. Put that about there. Oh, lovely. Yeah. No, no, too late on the hoo ah there. That didn't, didn't work. We could do the same pitch again. No, let's do that. He, he thought that might happen. Well, it did happen. Ah. He didn't think that would happen. No, no, he thought that was going to swing in, despite the fact that's not a pitch I'm particularly renowned for. His mighty Buffon. Um, maybe they brought him in because his batting average and uh, a number of home runs is solid. But his confidence is, is off the boil. And therefore, I question the wisdom in this particular batting change. Inside. Yeah, you anticipated a mid-count curveball. He hasn't got much else he can choose. Three. Strike two. <laughs> Just throwing them high inside. Yeah, yeah. Keep guessing, son. No pipe. That's ball two. All right, what do you think? Same again? Yeah. Same again. About here. About here? About here. Lovely. Break three. Jeff Conservative. Gonna get done. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's Kira refund. She's had a double and nothing else. Um, but the way that my fielding has been on occasion, hardly that surprising, is it? Hardly that surprising. Uh, right. 
strikes. That's good. Strike, Strike two. See if we can get her with this as well. I mean, you know, this is this is the Jeff Conservative That's strikeout pitch. Well, this time it isn't. No, it wasn't wasn't close enough to the target. Uh, bad there. Oh yeah! Oh crikey! She's crop. Oh yeah! I don't know. That's all right. It's okay. It's just a game. It's only a game. Bloody horror. Yeah. Crikey! I wouldn't want to live in her house. I mean, I imagine, but you know, anytime she's having trouble with Assassin's Creed, she tears the controller in half and throws, you know, each half through different windows. Uh, is Jeff having a, having a bat? All right, Jeff. I'll let it. I'll allow it. If you feel good about something, Jeff, have a go. He felt good about that one, and he's had a go, and he's out. All right, okay. I'm I'm confident with one defensive inning for us to go that a seven-run cushion will be enough. There you go, Cindy, straight out. That's no, fine. I'm not. Let's get this over and done with, shall we? Here's Jamie Hurts. All right, one of three. That's not dramatic. She's had a walk as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like saying people got wet when they were stood in the rain. I mean, it, it was just, it was a walk fest there for a little while. It's a nice hit from Hertz. Uh, she gets on a first. Super, lovely. Super, super, super. Here's Steve Morrick. All right, Steve, come on. You need, you need a base hit here in order to be renowned as uh, as Mr. Reliable again. You're Mr. Ah, pretty Reliable. Right now, today. All right, one more base hit. There it is. Look, that's good. All right, Mr. Reliable Steve Murray there with a the base hit. Runners first and second is Ulysses. One of five failure. Now's the time, Yuli. Out the park, please. Smoosh. No. Okay. All right, here we go. Ball inside. Wait for it. Well, that wasn't it. No, everyone's out. Uh, <laughs> we were hoping, you know, that that, that was uh, that would have just been great, but it wasn't. So we're moving on. Here's Poncho Ramirez. Jeff's still looking fresh, and uh, we're three outs away from what could be known as a win. No, no, no. They always anticipate the uh, the mid count curveball. Yeah, but mid count could be any number of pitches. Yeah. There you go. Anticipate that. Cindy, thank you. Get it done. Jobs are good. Out number one. Here's Kuku Jorski. Started badly, uh, has continued badly. Uh, good times. You anticipated the first pitch fastball. Okay, all right. Well, I'll try that then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Keep anticipating. See, see where it gets you. Ooh, you fell for that one. Hook, line, und, zinker. Uh, as, uh, as Jeremy Irons says in Die Hard 3. Uh, uh, that was another um, whatever it was. Jeff Conservative uh, change-up strikeout. Love it. I love the uh, Jeff Conservative change-up strikeout, which does arguably need a catchier name, but it does what it says on the tin, uh, if it were to come in a tin, which it doesn't. Okay. That's that. Here we go. Now, two strikes. Here's a Jeff Conservative attempt at a strike three change up <laughs> get off my field all those are power with a victory yes it can be done dreams do come true um the light that you're seeing in the sky is that of the sun and bulldozer power is standing in it in glory uh, enraptured by the radiant Br whatever uh anyone play particularly well um, yeah, probably. Anyone played play particularly badly? Zoltan. Zoltan played badly. He got a run batted in despite not having a hit. Yeah, okay. He, I mean, he did get two walks. It all counts. Uh, the win to Vivian Crumble. Save issue to Jeff Conservative. Seven strikeouts for Crumblers. Uh, and six to Conservative. Nice, 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 Vengeance is always awarded the loss, having walked five individual runners, uh, which is super. Your three stars of the afternoon, Cindy Vapid, Bernadette Mistakes, and Jeff Conservative. All right, dig in. Here we go. 
Uh, let's do this. Grunt Auto Group 8 and 2 playing Stardust of Human Resources. Madame Pompadour pitching for Grunt Auto Group. Javier. Javier? No, Xavier. That's terrible. Sensation for Stardust. Whatever. Play the bloody game. Uh, Grunt Auto Group off to a quick lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they win it 5 to 2. Uh, Failurewood Hills taking on the Bongolia Sea Raiders. Mm -hmm. uh, neither team looking particularly spicy at the moment, but anything could happen. The Sea Raiders have won that 4-3. to three. Grazer Ridge, Bumps and Medics. Grazer Ridge leading the division at the moment, but the Medics start strong. Is it strong enough? Yes, it is strong enough. Excellent. Keep it exciting. Colonel Skull are playing a Lingo Blend All-Stars. Lingo Blend, obviously, who gave us a thrashing not so long ago. Colonel Skull give them a 4-3 to three drubbing. Uh, Port Miggins Pirates are playing the Nomads. Nora Incapable pitching for the Nomads. Margot Spatula lead off batter for the Pirates, probably. Uh, the Nomads start well. Pirates pull back, but the Nomads are 4-3 to three wins. Some close games going on this time around. Jörg Mellon Flex Chroniclers are taking on the Red Star Pathfinders. Pathfinders 2 and 8. They really haven't done much so far this year. Uh, but they're doing it today. There it is, 6 and 1. It's obviously upside down week as underdogs are getting it done. Sportsball Union, Pitch Creek Miners. Mmm, exciting. The Miners are a strong team and uh, lose. Ah, great. Uh, here's the Pirates on the on the show again, up against the Budget Roadies, both teams 5 and 6. Mervyn Pine Rider is leading the way for the Pirates, with the Budget Roadies starting Mystic Menial as their pitcher. Uh, Kiki Tyrant is batting 286, Kiki Tyrant fans. Uh, and the Roadies score first, but the Pirates go, no, I don't like that, and they win it 6-2 to two overall. Grazer Ridge taking on Colonel Space Agency, and uh, Grazer Ridge are looking to extend their lead at the top of the wood chipper division, which they utterly fail to do as they are smashed to pieces by the Space Agency. Off City Axemen are taking on the Sunshine Fun Bus, Sunshine Fun Bus 7 and 4, are challenging for the lead of the Whoop Whoop division, and that win puts them a little bit closer to it. In fact, they are now leading that division. Here's Colonel Scorling SP Keepers. Breathe. <sighs> Colonel School off to a three lead at the start of the game pitching balls and uh, beekeepers come back with six but uh, it is uh, whoever that was that did well. Congratulations to them. Steganauts taking on the bumps and medics. We saw the medics earlier on taking on one of the favourites and winning and they've won this one as well. Steganauts still a nothing team frankly. I don't care what anybody says they're a nothing team. Cheerio Incorporated against the Wretched Minstrels. Both teams performing very strongly in the sloganated division. They are the minstrels and they put on a show. Put on a, a display uh, batting practice for the minstrels. There's a three-way tie in that division now. But it won't be by the time I look at the divisional tables come the end of the show. Uh, uh, Stardose of Human Resources just, you know, gave Grunt Auto Group a bloody nose. 13-3 uh, to three the final score. Failywood Hills taking on the Bongolia Sea Raiders. Uh, Failywood Hills open with two. Uh, three is all it took to win that one. 3-1 the final score. Bulldozer Power taking on the Nomads. Bulldozer Power 3-8. and eight. Ominous Bob opening the pitching. That's not a good idea. Uh, the Nomads 4-7. and seven. Oh yeah, we do want to simulate this one please. Uh, Bulldozer Power open the score. 3-2 the final score. Yes, it's another Bulldozer Power victory that I had nothing to do with. Uh, ten games left to go. Lingo Blend All Stars taking on the Peninsula Transport. Both teams five and six. Peninsula Transport score first, but Lingo Blend come back, win it five to one. Ooh, Red Star Pathfinders with Linfield Muscles pitching for them against Wendy Drugs at the helm of the Of City Axemen. Uh, the Pathfinders pulled back a game not so long ago. Can they do it again? Yes, four nothing. Final score. Mongolia Sea Raiders back in action again against the Sportsball Union. Both teams have lost seven games so far this season. They will be hoping not to lose this one. Uh, the Sea Raiders having to come back from a six-goal six deficit, and it ended up being 8-7 to seven final score in favour of the other team, and that's exciting. Grazer Ridge versus Colonel Space Agency. Grazer Ridge 8-4 are, uh, are, are winning grand. Here's a budget road. He's against Colonel School. Colonel School are 8-4 at the moment. And they need to win here. And they don't get it. Well, that keeps things exciting. Keeps the scores a veritable mixed bag. Uh, Fairywood Hills in action again against the Beekeepers. Uh, beekeepers who have yet to perform in any season after their uh, uh, Super Bowl. Call it what you want. Uh, appearance in the first season. Uh, but that's their fifth win of the year. And it's, it's not going to be enough. Here's a big game for you. Picks Creek Miners against the Wretched Minstrels. James Strap pitching for the Miners. PG Percy Jeff for the Minstrels, who's who's a little bit dinged, has to be said, 
Uh, on the strength of the pitch as you'd go, you've got to give this one of the minus. Darcy, Darcy uh, is, uh, is leading the way uh, for the minus, whereas Randy Shanghai and Scooter Buam are, uh, are the top of the tree for the Minstrels. Let's see how it plays out. Minstrels 2-0. Barely, barely worth watching. Um, certainly not worth the build-up. Sunshine Fun Bus taking on Cheerio Inc. Another big game. Uh, and you've got uh, Neil Murph, one of the very original players in the Super Mega Baseball, Electro Sports, everything, uh, is pitching for the Fun Bus. Lance Splendid for Cheerio Inc. Uh, you've got Shamrock Bubble Jets and huh, Party Boy uh, over there on the Fun Bus. Uh, whereas you've got Butterfly Porkchop, Marcel Purpose and Steve Mastodon playing for Cheerio Inc. And how's it going to go down? Cheerio open the scoring, but Fun Bus come back, winning that one 6 2. Uh, two games left to go. Erg Mountainflex uh, Sky Chroniclers, I think they're called. I, I think they just dropped it to the Chroniclers after a while because it was. They, they already had too long a name. Uh, they're playing the Grunt Auto Group. Grunt Auto Group are dominating at the moment, but they have lost a couple today. Uh, so, you know, they need to recapture their form, but they didn't. Today, that one went to extra inning. And uh, Grunt Auto Group lost another one. The Pirates and Stardos of Human Resources are going head to head. And uh, they're all head to head in their scoring as well. Six and six is what they're carrying at the moment. Let's see if the, how this one rocks out. Stardos of Human Resources, they're putting seven on the scoreboard. I, you, I feel good about the Pirates. I think the Pirates have got a, a, a team that could potentially go places. Who am I playing next? And I'm. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, crack on. Playing the Nomads. All right, okay. Oh, that's going to be a game, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be a game. Steve Morris winged. Oh, no. And his batting average dropped. Oh, dear. Okay, look at the standings. All right, let's look at the standings. In a wood chipper division, Grazer Ridge are out front on 9 and 4 ahead of Colonel School. Now, the Nomads look unimpressive on 4 and 8. Uh, in the Bombastic, it's the Grunt Auto Group on 9 and 4 ahead of the Bumson Medics. But you've got two more... Two more teams in the chase there with Lingo, Blend and Budget, who, who are not far off the chase. Bulldozer Power look unimpressive. Um, over in the Whoop Whoop, over into uh, in the Bad Company Conference, Sunshine Fun Bus out front. 9-4 and four is their record. Uh, they've got Erg Mellonflex just behind them, but their run difference ain't all that. Uh, Failurewood Hills and the Red Star Pathfinders look unimpressive. In the sloganator division, to round things off, the Wretched Minstrels have taken the lead. This is the defending champion Wretched Minstrels have taken the lead. Uh, and uh, they've got both Cheerio Incorporated and the Picks Creek Miners uh, snapping at their heels. This is going to be quite a good division to keep an eye on in the late part of the season. I think these three come down to the wire. Very exciting stuff. I've been Colonel Fayer. Oh, is anyone unimpressive? All the other teams in the sloganator. I've been Colonel Fayer. Thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, if you're still watching, subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, if you are subscribed, you've done everything you need to do. Make a comment of some description. That'd be nice. It's helpful when you make a comment, you know. You know, it it makes it, it brings some zhuzh to things. People say it helps YouTube go, oh, look, that's a very lively channel. Let's recommend it more. No, stuff that nonsense. It just creates some zhuzh. It creates a frisson of excitement. Uh, among the electro sports faithful. You are one of those. So, you know, zhuzh. Come on, get on with it. No, I don't know how you spell it. I'll be back next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.